you guys wanted to come on here and do this quick video. Um, I want to let you guys know that I'm actually out today. Um, first day since I had surgery. Still bleeding a little bit um, from the incision. It's just like a really like a tiny little piece. Probably the maybe the size of my nail on my thumb. I mean on my finger. <laughs> um, it's probably about that size but it's causing like some bleeding and so yeah it's still a little painful um I took my Tylenols this morning but I'm actually out right now came with hubby to pay some you know bills pay the rent and pay the light and all that stuff so I'm out um I do have this like hello on me right here so if I hit a bump or something it kind of just you know helps you know to kind of just hold on to it and so it doesn't hurt as bad so I just started just taking regular Tylenol, um, a thousand milligrams. I stopped taking the other Tylenol coating, but I did bring it with me because the bottle, the Tylenol, um, a thousand milligrams, like it's 500 and another 500. So it's like two pills. That's like such a big bottle. So I ended up bringing the Tylenol coating just in case it gets, um, like real intense right now. So far, you know, we've been trying to avoid the bumps and stuff and it's been okay. I ended up borrowing a walker from um, my dad. Um, it's the, the ones you can like wheel, not the not the other walkers that don't have the wheels on them. The it's the ones that have like the place where you can sit down. So yeah, I wanted to kind of go out today. Hubby's off today, so he's gonna work on Saturday. So I decided to come out today and. You know, the kids hadn't been out either, and we've still been doing our homeschooling, and we've still been doing everything, you know, as, you know, as best as we can, but they've been such a great help for me since I've been, you know, out of surgery and stuff, because hubby has to work and stuff. So, we're here at Walmart. Hubby's actually paying our light bill. So, he got down. I haven't been able to get down yet, but. I'm a little bit happy to be out, see the sun. <laughs> I've actually been just, you know, trying to stay confined at home and just trying to, you know, have the lamp on, nothing too bright because it just bothers me. What is so weird is that I have, like, symptoms of a pregnant woman. I don't know why. I Like, I, I'm having a hard time, you know, with smelling foods and... It's just like I'm only I'm craving certain foods and if I don't have that like I get upset. I don't know. I really don't know what's going on, but and then um after the surgery what's also been really crazy is that it's hard to find a temperature. Like I'm really trying to find a temperature. I don't know what it is. Like especially if I come out of the shower it takes forever to for my body to heat up. But it's like one moment I'm hot, the next moment I'm cold, and I'm just like, one moment I like have like four layers of blankets on me, and then the next moment it's like take them all off. It's like really hot. It's just, it's crazy. My my temperature's like all over the place. So, like right now I have like some short sleeves, right? But I had a little cardigan over this, and I took it off. But I brought it with me just in case. So, yeah. Um. What else? That's pretty much all that's been going on, guys. I'm just excited to be out for a little bit. and um, We're going to go see my cousin right now, Dr. Duran. Because hubby has to get some forms filled out for the days that he missed um, for my surgery. He's going to go get that FMLA thing signed by the doctor. And um, If he's there, I'll just ask him, you know, like, is it normal for me to still be bleeding a little bit? Because it's such a small little part that's not getting closed. I'm not sure why it's gushing out quite a bit of blood. I end up having like this much blood come out from that little thing. And I, and I actually feel it throughout the day. Like I need to go change it already because it feels a little wet from the blood. So yeah, I brought some extra little gauzes with me. Um, my dad gets these from like... Like for his G-tube area. So my mom had given me a few. So that I could put them. And so that's what I've been using. And so I just. Um, put them like sideways. Instead of using them like a G-tube. Like the square area. 
I just end up folding them in half and then that's how I put it because I got the c-section cut so you know I wanted to post pictures and show you guys on video what it looked like but it was brutal it, it really looked really bruised up especially on my left side I'm not sure why on the right side it didn't um bruise at all it didn't bruise at all for some reason it, didn't, it just it just bruised on the left side really bad and it looked rotten it looked rotten I was actually kind of scared I was like Ugh, looks really bad especially with like all the steri strips on there and everything it looked really bad but now the bruising is going down I still have a lot of bruising um but I have a lot of bruising on the left side the right side is pretty much clean um, so yeah, so anyway, that's what's been going on. I wanted to come on here and let you guys know, cause I hadn't been on here. I just kind of didn't want to update you yet because I didn't know how, you know, if anybody was even interested or anything, but I'm so glad I got the surgery. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm so happy that I'm just not bleeding anymore you know, from there, it's just, it was so draining, I was so tired, the first couple of days was just like, like, my heart was beating so fast, I'm like, you know, I, but I didn't want to have a blood transfusion anymore, so I'm glad they didn't give me one, I'm, I need to start taking my iron pills after this whole, it's just, I've been sleeping a lot, just a lot of pain meds, and just, just sleeping, um, I think for the past day or two I've kind of been a little bit more awake kind of lowering lowering down my pain meds and you know yeah so anyway okay guys thanks for watching hopefully hopefully it's a good day hopefully I don't get a lot of pain from this some people I was I've been watching like a lot of videos from other people who have gone through this surgery and they have just been like saying you know they I need to take it easy you shouldn't be out after a week you know um, one girl said she tried going to the to the to the mail and that she started cramping afterwards so I'm hoping I'm not gonna cramp after this I'm hoping I'm gonna be okay but that's where we're at. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.